some of the rehabilitation that this centre will provide may take months or even years to provide to get the patients back to their optimal health status. So this is what this unit is about, it's about longer term specialist rehabilitation for people who've had uh, generally a trauma but uh, some sort of acquired brain injury episode. Now that's going to involve quite a lot of allied health and nursing care as well as the medical leadership and this facility brings together the opportunity to have those staff working with patients uh, in an environment that's absolutely designed for their ongoing and long-term rehabilitation needs. The model that we've chosen and we expect to evolve over time will be evidenced by research um, and it involves an interdisciplinary team providing very specialised care for a target group of patients with severe brain injury. We expect the research program that we've got will build on that model as more evidence becomes available on the best treatment for this patient group. This facility represents a unique partnership, bringing together the Public Health Service, Alfred Health and the TAC, working with the Victorian Government Department of Health has brought about a unique arrangement uh, for the provision of this sort of service. It's unique in Victoria, and we suspect it's unique around the world, where different funding streams in the public system have come together for the benefit of patients. The development of the ABI service has been an opportunity to look at new initiatives, new ways of doing things, to challenge what we currently do within Alfred Health, and to look across the world at best practice. We open this unit with significant expertise already within Alfred Health in the areas of rehabilitation and brain injury recovery. Our evidence-based program and our research programs will help us inform practice into the future to deliver a higher standard of care and to create greater opportunities for patients following brain injury.